Oh! <laughs> okay. I still don't know for sure what we're doing. We're going to Clam Lake. Clam Lake, yes. And we're North. bringing this trailer in because they had a fire. Yes. So we can show you some pictures and stuff like that. But they've already rebuilt. But there's just a few more things they want so to So I think we'll get the exact details. But it was a few years ago. They had incredible forest fires up north. And a ton, ton of people's cabins and stuff burnt. This is one of the ones that got partially destroyed. But like Carrie said, they rebuilt. But they need more supplies. So we got the old trusty Sherp. Oh, check this out, ready? Okay, oh, okay, this one. Oh God, just wait, just wait. Here we go, here we go. Oh. We got the old trusty Sherp on the back and we're gonna pull that boat trailer in because they need a bit more supplies. And we're gonna go try to smash some fish and it's gonna be freaking awesome, so. All right, do like, well. Do you like our homemade uh, Yeah, 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 I'm sick of replacing headlight lenses. I broke two or three now. Okay guys, sorry, <laughs> we did not video very good, but we are here at the drop-off spot. So this is Clam, the entrance where you park anyways to get into Clam Lake. So obviously, obviously this is where you park to go if you want to go ice fishing for the day. So they're getting the trailer rigged up here. Um, they're trying to put these corrugated skids on. It'll tow a lot nicer across the snow than tires. And if there's any slush or anything, so get that all rigged up and then we'll bring the sherp up here i put a i think an eight inch drop hitch on the sherp because the sherp bumper is so high so hopefully whatever it'll work <laughs> whether it's riding on the rear two tires might be a little little up in the air but okay <laughs> sorry he's swinging around like a crazy guy dang should have brought my sled mrs Oss could have drove the sherp <sighs> Nice links and exactly our 165 Turbo Summit. I got a little bit more tape to remove. Did you guys see our little uh, cardboard? <laughs> it works though. So I got to get something made up so it's a little better, but but uh, yeah, we got everything loaded in there. Everything's good. So we freaking love the Sherp. There's just so much room to bring stuff. There's a little hitch. Man, you ever you guys ever see these two? These little anti rattle things? They're like, ten dollars and they just bolt on in two seconds and then everything is rock solid because that actually fit pretty loose in there so rather than listening to just chattering away you just throw that on tighten it up and freaking good to go all right okay so now we're starting to get pretty loaded so they had uh they they have some sleds but uh <laughs> just We've been just one more thing in it for the last few minutes, but it's perfect. Everything's, everything's, uh, all that, most of the heavy stuff's right down at the bottom, so should be good. And we're just gonna be taking it easy, so I don't know how far we gotta go. I didn't ask, but I don't really ask important stuff. I just go with the flow. It's probably important to just ask. No. Right now. Let's go with the flow. Let's go with the flow. I don't need to know. Mrs. Austin needs to know. I don't need to know. I don't need to know. Yeah, you do. Like yeah, you do. It's like, oh. Hey, by the way, it's going to take us five hours to get across there. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Okay, boys, here we go. Heck yeah. So we got a little bit of a narrow spot here. So that's another good thing about the Sherp is once it goes through, you have an eight foot wide trail. <laughs> so we'll make sure that trailer goes through everything really good. And once we get on the lake, it should be no worries. Just kind of getting through this land stuff here. Everything looks really good. I'm trying to keep an eye for her, so. Perfect, she's the best trip driver ever. Man, there's like up to my knees almost. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's actually working really good. For the first 100 meters. <laughs> We'll see, we'll give our final thoughts once we get to the cabin, but man, that's so super cool. Man, I bet you this would be pure muskeg in the summer. It just looks like a kind of skaggy meadow, all dead trees and just a hallmark of muskeg. Nothing really, no trees really growing it. It's super weird, just too wet, I think. 
holds moisture too much. Do you think Mrs. Oss is ever gonna stop and let me in or no? <laughs> okay, things are going good. It's slow, it's pretty bumpy. So when we get there, um, you guys will see we'll throw the drone up. It's literally a little cabin on a rock island. It looks so cool. I seen some pictures in the summer. It looks super cool. So, but yeah, it's a bit of a winding, narrow, bumpy trail to get there. It's not so bad if you're not towing, but that's quite a bit of weight. Can't really see. Is Yeah, I think so. Hold stop, hold stop. Okay, so <laughs> we lost one of our skis. So I think they're just gonna um, take it off because really there's only a foot of snow. So you, we can drag those tires through pretty much anything. If we were three or four feet of snow, it'd be a little bit different story, but uh, we should have no problems. So let's get that zipped right off. Get that pole out of there. And then uh, keep an eye on this side. I guess this side can stay for now. We're gonna zap those little U-bolts off easier than <laughs> Easier than busting out a ratchet, I guess. And then we'll just pull ahead and, and then uh, probably just throw that up on, on top. Okay, so we got ski on one side and tires on the other, so we're gonna keep trucking. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, those tires will do just fine. There's not enough snow to really cause us any issues. So, all right, I'm gonna get back in and we're gonna keep going. A few moments later. Okay, sorry. Uh, so yeah, the other um, ski did the same thing. So we just zapped that off real quick. We'll pick that up on the way back. Uh, every time we stop, we're seeing this pink in the snow. I'm like, what the heck? And it's not antifreeze, it's not, we can't figure it out while well, here. The brush is banging against the, the tire and it's berries, it's like berry juice. Had us a little concerned because every time we stopped, it was uh, transferring onto the snow just a little bit, you see? Just enough to where you're like, hey, what's leaking? And I was like, nothing in the Sherp is red. So it didn't make sense, but definitely makes sense. It's on the sidewall, huh? Moonshine, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna keep going tires. See how that works for us. Okay, last little part from the trail onto the lake. And then it's gonna be smooth sailing. I think we still got everything. <laughs> Man, you can even see the trailer flexing. Like that's quite a load, you guys. I kind of underestimated it at the start, but that's a lot of lumber on there. That's a lot of weight. It's Miller time now. Freaking Miller time now. We made it. Smooth sailing. <laughs> Perfect. Quit pissing around over there. Yeah. Easy peasy. I was just worried about because I hate drop hitches because they 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 have so much leverage and they flex flex this. And I was wondering. I thought that chipped the paint away because it was flex flexing, but maybe that's from something else entirely different. Everything looks really good and tight, so everything's good. All right.
uh, we're gonna try and unload the trailer up as close to the shore and and the cabin as possible. So I'm just gonna give her a this is the dock apparently. Can't even see. Okay there. Just trying to get her up there nice. Oh, slippery. You think it's gonna ride up there? Oh, yeah, yeah, stop! <laughs> She's yanking it. Push it! Hit it! Oh god. Woo! God dang! <laughs> Yeah, because it's moving really yeah. fast. Yeah. Straighten out. Okay. No worries. They might break those boards, but it's all good. These tires are pretty indestructible. All right. So. Oh. Fish tailing. Fishtail, mid jack thing. Whatever. No, just crank a left and turn hard. Yeah, it's the only thing is starting to get jammed up. Yeah. It's gonna be heavy and he won't be able to move. Now he's Okay. Now he can turn left hard. Push, 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 push. Oh, shit. Keys to not run that over. There you go. Like that's what sold me when you could just turn around and go back out. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. Look at this. Oh, I thought he was coming over the reef. Yeah. Oh, he will. Just watch out for the dock. Just don't come over here. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, don't. Okay, so we unloaded the propane and all the tin. Here's what's left of the old dock. Like when they're saying they almost lost the place, they almost lost everything. There were sheds here. All the sheds are burnt. He was saying a lot of their fire suppression stuff, the hose and stuff were in the sheds. Well, of course that freaking burnt. Look at all these charred trees and God, it's scary, man. It's so crazy too. Like obviously embers flying in the air because you know, you're on a freaking island. You think you'd be okay, but. Our, uh, she was about 10 minutes away from the yeah, cabin going. going right up. Hey, wow. He was cut. He cut the propane tanks. Was his last ditch effort. The propane tanks sit right there. So, yeah. And uh, last ditch effort to save the cabin. Jeez. Just cut the hoses. And yeah. Hauls them the away. See the fuel tank. See the top of Yeah. So weird. So that's where the fuel level was. It was. Yeah. In, it, it, wow. It, it was engulfed in flames. Can it you guys see that? like the bottom part had fuel in it, so it's a different color. Jeez, wow. Frick, it's probably just boiling in there. <laughs> wow. No kidding. Okay, so we got everything unloaded. In the cabin, we got 
There's two fireplaces. We've got two fireplaces going to heat it up. Got and now, and now we're going to try to smash some fish. So, so you're to yes, we as a group. We also have some fresh fish. Okay, so we'll watch where these guys go. Oh, sorry, that didn't work. We're gonna drill a few holes. And this is a Jiffy electric auger. It seems like it's way more powerful than Grandpa's green one. What are those green ones, ions? Grandpa has a, a green one, an ion. It seems so wimpy. What's that? My father-in-law has a green one, an ion. It seems so like wimpy. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, like, you one, can't push on it. This E40 is awesome. Yeah, it just rips. Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna fire going, cook some Smokies. It's a little breezy out here, so maybe we'll use, use the Sherp as a windbreak. Sorry guys, just so close to everything, can't see nothing. Oh yeah, right back there, we're gonna have fire. Cook some Smokies, hopefully smash some fish. That would be awesome. That'll be the next part of this video if we start catching fish. Okay, we're trying to get a fire going. Yeah, I think- I think- <laughs> Snagged him, awesome. There goes your weatherproofness, no? <laughs> okay. I think he put about half a jerry can of gas on there. She's really gonna go this time. Oh, well, they're trying to, they're trying to play it smart. That's gonna take forever to get that twig going. You're not gonna make America's Funniest Videos do it the right way. <laughs> Just uh, careful, like you. Man, that is some dead gas or something. Weird. Fresh, fresh That's co-op gas. Oh, funny. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> all, the, all the fishing fishing rods burnt. Holy cow! Move the sled. Just kidding. <laughs> it's weird how it took off so slow though. It took a while, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we are starting to hammer, well, I shouldn't say we, they are starting to hammer the pick roll. I've lost two minnows so far, but so far I haven't got anything up. That's a real nice one. These guys are just pounding them. Nice. Perfect eating size. The second one I had hit really good, but then I broke my freaking line, you guys. So I gotta be, line. gotta be careful. Set this hook. Yeah. Oh, you haven't caught anything yet? Weird. <laughs> oh man, even though it's pretty windy and shitty out, it's uh, really awesome fishing. Hey, what are you doing? Careful. <laughs> This is us just sitting in there. And we'll, out, we're in yeah, well, Basto's going to just play in the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, that's good. Okay, my goal is to get someone catching a fish on camera, so we'll have this. We'll have this ready on standby. Dang, I missed it, guys. Boom! No one hammer, another one. Emma Lake, that's a keeper for sure, but up here, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Well, at least the wind is picking up. <laughs> Not around here, partner. Not around here, partner. Not around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fishing has really slowed down, but we're keeping entertained with Nolan trying to get a smoky going. <laughs> First, it fell in the fire. <laughs> And he burnt his glove getting the smoky out. Now he's trying to warm up his pita. Here's a tip for you guys. Pita is way easier to use than a like a hot dog bun out like out on you know ice fishing or stuff you gotta pack. Like a pack of twelve pitas is, is only <laughs> is only a couple inches thick versus twelve hot dog buns. If you got limited space and they taste really good. He finally got her. Best, yeah, best tasting one ever. You really had to work for that one. <laughs> Rick, there's like wind is swirling, sparks and smoke in his face. He's trying to roast that poor thing. Oh, 
Oh, well, boys, we're calling her. I think we got three or four decent pickerel to fill it. She's getting a little chilly out. The wind is picking up and obviously the temperature is dropping. So we're going to head her back to camp, make sure the wood stoves are stoked up because that uh, it's a winterized cabin. So um, it was whatever temperature was outside when we got here. So started a fire, started getting it warm in there. So get that fire ripping, cook some supper, play some cards, have some drinks. Frick yeah, what an awesome first day. So glad that went in. Uh, the trailer came in real nice. We got her pulled up on shore there. They got all their lumber to build a nice dock this year. Crazy, but heck yeah. Okay, let's give her back to the cabin. Okay, so, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but I say there's, on the lake, there's maybe 10 inches of snow probably. They said there was a couple bay, bays they went into that had a little bit of snow to play around in. On a normal year, there'd be probably three or four feet. He said a couple years ago, there was like five or six feet. That would have been something. But we're just cruising back. This is Austin awesome. kept the shirt warm for us. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. The color on the phone always looks super cool. to widen it out for them. <laughs> well, all this small stuff's got to get cut anyways. The trail was just kept... The thing with the shirt, it was just kind of pushes it over. Yeah, it doesn't really wreck anything. It just, yeah, lays them over and then they just grow back up. And you could just leave it like right there, like all the way in, and it will turn around in the morning, like go straight in. And they got, hopefully they got room for their sleds. Good work. <laughs> really nice picks here. Well, except for the oh, one really Hannison right. caught. Yeah, yeah. It's a little baby. Yeah. You get the fish that is That's not a fish. <laughs> Man, we are uh, lucking out. We're getting fresh fish for supper, which is fantastic. Early the next morning. <laughs> They're both sitting there. <laughs> oh, how do I zoom it out? So a it just bit? doesn't matter if just any red one? Yeah, you have to have, you can only have two red ones. Okay. okay. Ready? Go. Okay, <laughs> okay I, got, I got shocked <laughs> two times already. This is going to be the third time. <laughs> go! <laughs> I think it's fucking game shocks you anyway. They're just, they're just, they're just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I lose every time. He's looking at Daryl like, oh! Oh, like, got his, ow! <laughs> oh my god, that'll wake you up. <laughs> okay, so explain what we're doing with these dock supports. Okay, so the idea here is to have a permanent perch for the float planes when they come in for us. I'm gonna drill this rock twice, anchor back into this natural shelf. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. They got this whole like reef of natural rock here. So it protects this little area. So they had a dock back here, which gets protected by the ice and weather and everything by these rocks, but now they want to put a dock out there so it can get smashed and have to deal with it all the time. <laughs> Something we don't have to rebuild every two years. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna try. I have no idea, guys, if this is gonna work. They were gonna uh, uh, haul a generator down here. I'm like, hey, let's just try the Blue Eddy. Let's see. So we're gonna see if it'll run this big posh, Bosch hammer drill. Posh, Posh, Bosch. Oh, frick yeah. We're just on hammer, no spin. There we go. There we go. So what are we pulling for amps here? 1800 watts, so we're right at the max. <laughs> I 
18, 1900 watts it's pulling, but it's running it. We're making progress. Sorry, I'm trying not to fall on my arse. Okay. No one says we we need to just go full bore, no pilot holes, which I agree with what he's saying, because otherwise it just will ride on the shoulder of the bit, trying to drill that hole bigger. We'll just use the big boy here. Holy, that's going in like butter. <laughs> okay, boys. So we got these two holes done. So that'll eventually have to get cut down to the exact level they need, but that's basically the supports that are going in there. They get epoxied in. They tried to find rock here, but we hit water. So I we'll have to wait on that one. And then we found rock here. A dock and a float plane support, mooring. So it'd be super cool to uh, check back when they get done and give you guys an update of how this is all gonna look. And of course, everything's covered in snow, so you can't really tell how it looks, anyways. But maybe I'll throw in some pictures. workers only one guy can do the work one guy's got a document and everyone else has got to watch <laughs> so true hey so yeah super freaking cool I'll throw in a couple pictures right here of what it looked like normally in the summer I know some of this stuff burnt I'm not exactly sure how much some of the walkways and stuff, but I'll snag some pictures from these guys and throw it in here for you guys. It really is a freaking gorgeous place on a beautiful rock island up in northern Saskatchewan. What else? What more can you ask for? Heck yeah. We're going to go do a little uh, Sherp tour just after lunch. Go for a little cruise up some, some little narrow waterways and then... Uh, then we're gonna throw some lines in the water in the later afternoon. They say they bite really good from four till six, so try to smash some fish later on. Man, we had fresh, I can't remember, I, j I think I just recorded um, Kenny filleting in them. I didn't record the finished product, but holy cow, did it taste good, you guys. When you catch fish, and I'd say within 40 minutes, they were cleaned and cooked. Oh my goodness, they were good. Anything in the winter too is, is uh, extra great tasting. Everything's crisp and firm and freaking gorgeous. Blown out all the rock dust. Crazy. Just hammer right into that rock, no problem. Two hours later. You might actually poop a little when that happens, eh? <laughs> he needs to get the RPMs up, and then it just walks out. That's deadly. <laughs> we have to go back through. <laughs> <laughs> We're going the other way. His ass end won't come out yet. Oh. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Uh, looks like you sunk through. <laughs> I'll see if Hannison brought toilet paper. <laughs> Is uh, Hannison just wiping right now or what's he up to? <laughs> we can't stop laughing. Holy, we went in sideways. <laughs> <laughs>
Like okay, here we go. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. Oh. Yeah, it's funny when you are going fast enough. You get to, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what the, how chunky or whatever it is, you just stay on the top inch. Dan's coming still. That should be Kenny. Oh, Kenny, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Duh. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Show how serious these guys are. <laughs> Risking life and limb. <laughs> oh, it'll be nice in about 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> rip, 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 rip. He's got to put us. Got to put his ice fishing shot, ice fishing seat back. <laughs> All right, guys, we oh, got whoa, a, we got one on the tip off. Zinger, we got a zinger. There's a smelt on there. Yeah. Well, it could be a big Johnny, guys. Frick yeah. We just have to be careful. We don't run out of line. Yeah. This is gonna be awesome. I just pulled up another nice pick, and we got one on the tip up. They're just an hour later th later today. They're just starting to bite now. Oh no. Oh, gone? Spit it. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, we'll reset. We'll get them. Line, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, dang it. Yeah, yeah. big smelt. <laughs> oh, nice. Get our freaking fire ripping here. Oh, we're in good shape now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at this guy. Just a little beauty. Heck yeah. All right. Man, that'd be nice to catch a big Johnny. They caught a 14 and a 16 last weekend, so we gotta, we got to top that today. Okay, so we got another flag up. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, you don't want no friction. You want him to take it. You want it into his large intestine. Swallow totally through his stomach into it. No. <laughs> oh, please be on there. Please be some big monster. Come on, buddy. Okay, we got him. How big he's going to be, we don't know. Okay, let's get in here. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. Oh, he's just a oh, little guy. Ah, oh, decent size. That's that's Emma Lake. That's a, that's a monster. <laughs> right on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a little half, guy. Half the size of the smelt. Yeah. Or twice Sorry. the size of the smelt. Goodbye. He gone. He's gone. He's gonna come get this one. <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, beautiful. Got him. <laughs> he dropped his, he dropped his like yes, a spit it, oh yeah. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Just perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. We've seen it. It's probably, probably five now. We just gotta hammer a big Johnny on the tip up and then all will be good. Fishing, it's catching time. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> we're sitting out here. We're like, okay, we're staying 15 more minutes or until we catch one more. Two he's lost in the last, <laughs> last 15 minutes. So, And I just lost one too. Dang it. So, <sighs> Stick her back down there. Maybe he'll bite again. Nice one? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, real nice, yeah. Well, dang. Got him. That quick? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spit it right at the hole. <laughs> Frick yeah. Woo! Frickin' mint. Perfect. Big it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> Biggest fish of the day I missed. <laughs> Nolan pulled up about a quarter. About a quarter pound pike. It was it was just slightly bigger than the smelts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's freaking awesome. Frick yeah. We probably got what six to fill it. There's another. Oh wow, frick yeah. Yep, yeah. frick yeah. We'll take it. Yep. Yeah. Tell Mrs. Austin to get that sharp start. Look at this lady. She's just in there playing Nintendo Switch. Oh, she's on her phone now. She was playing Nintendo Switch. Playing freaking Haiti or something in there. <laughs> Got the heater. <laughs> She's the smart one. But oh man, what a freaking awesome day! Another freaking kick-ass day. Right on. We just needed that one more. More fun than people. Yeah. <laughs> Frick yeah. Okay, let's get loaded up and get the those guys. Um, Derek and Kenny went. Or no, um, um, Dan went back to put the lasagna in and stoke up the fire so we purposely hung back so we could smash a couple more pickerel so we got that done so we're gonna load up and get the heck back there so the one he almost well he lost it once but it came up again is that guy the biggest one but real nice there's a milwaukee yeah <laughs> for scale <laughs> heck yeah that was gonna be some freaking awesome eating again yeah that guy's bigger than every other one but perfect size pickerel for eating. Heck yeah. Beauty. Frick yeah. Slow it up and get the heck out of here. Okay. He just hit so it how do you play this game? <laughs> you can't hit it early. You can't Don't. hit it last or you get shocked. When the light turns green. I can't see. We got <laughs> yeah. Just as soon as that's green, don't push it before. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Uh oh. Oh god. It's that sound. Why are you hey? doing it? <laughs> so you don't want to be the first one to push your button. Quick game. Green. Holy. Yeah! Woo! Got her! <laughs> oh yeah, just an extra connection. <laughs> it really helps. It really helps when you're good and sweaty. <laughs> good job. Good job. Props for playing. Props for playing. <laughs> How'd that feel though? <laughs> you lost the one before. I lost three in a row, man. My hand was starting to not be able to close. <laughs>